Elders of the Sides, you'll hear a little bit more footage here for you with 6th Hero Base. Uh, we're going to focus here on dungeons. I'm going to show you a little bit about my regular sort of dungeon walkthrough. Sort of what I do on a typical day-to-day uh, -day basis in terms of farming. Dungeon 8. Oh, it gets uh, pretty repetitive after doing Dungeon 8 millions of times. What it feels like. Millions, anyways. And uh, it's got my dailies here up, and uh, also I'm working on getting Duke here. I am uh, almost 36,000 mile to 38, 345 that we need for Duke, so we're getting pretty close to there. Leveling a couple of uh, legendary heroes here in a couple of the garrisons. I'm still doing here with Monster G just because I like the 100% success rate, so that's just kind of is what it is. And let's go ahead and go into Dungeon. Eight, and I'll just kind of show you my faves and as I mentioned in one of my videos one of my favorite dungeons is dungeon 36 I love this dungeon because I can sometimes get by with really light to low magic it's for sure without a doubt doable with just frenzy okay but sometimes you can do it with absolutely zero magic whatsoever so I drop in at the top and I drop in with pumpkin duke first that gets him a stack going and you can see I got Minotaur, I got all six heroes out right now. My goal here is to get this Spirit Mage. If I get this Spirit Mage quick, we're good to go. And there we go, we got him there. So we took this one out in under 20 seconds. No losses, no shards, but hey, only took me a, only took me a Frenzy there. And again, uh, we can sometimes do that dungeon with no Frenzy. It's just, a, do I want to risk it or not? I mean... Alright, now I, I got a little bit of gold here, so we'll just keep using Frenzy maybe at least just one frenzy just I just like how fast it goes okay I'm really really impatient and I do not like doing any dungeons I don't like doing any sometimes I start with the uh, GA and then I drop in here on 37 too especially when I'm playing on blue stacks where I gotta click a little bit slower and then we can get the frenzy on here sometimes I wait a little bit on that frenzy and then I get really big uh, minotaur procs here so I can do this dungeon in 15 seconds on average and this one took a little longer because I'm on playing on blue stacks and it's just you know clicking dropping heroes in and so that's kind of my typical 37 but that's why I like to run 36 over and over and over and I really just need that frenzy I don't need a shield whatsoever and uh, works pretty well and one dungeon I really am starting I never liked this dungeon before I, I never really got into it so when I was doing a video recording on sort of my how I drop in on dungeons I came into dungeon 39 here and I'm like oh I hate this dungeon I never do this dungeon but it's pretty interesting if you drop a shield and you drop a frenzy and then you drop all your heroes right here this dungeon clears super fast now especially with six heroes that obviously helps a little bit but all of those all of those uh, troops in that army camp really get Pumpkin Duke going. I mean, look at that. 17, 16 seconds there. He did get the 39 shards there. That's what we want. Two magics again. This is light magic. It's not no magic. Obviously, I can do a lot of these dungeons low magic. But let me just walk you through my, my standard routine here. And then I'll show you uh, with my last dungeon, I'll, uh, no magic 36. And so let's go to 40. There's really three or four ways to drop in on this dungeon. I showed you one over here. I showed you one over here. This is when you can do Spirit Mage by Spirit Mage and Ninja here. There's my double drop here where I can get some heroes on the left side of this wall, some heroes on the right side of this wall. That's kind of a weird one. But really my typical standard normal drop is to drop everything in right over here. No magics out yet. And then just normally Frenzy. And sometimes I Guardian Angel, but I've found... I don't really need the Guardian anymore because all my heroes will take out that Spirit Mage pretty quickly. The reason about dropping is over there, as you can see this, look at the Snowzilla just wandering away. Snowzilla, sometimes he's worse than Druid, I tell you, man. Sometimes Snowzilla's crazy, but that's all right. Again, this was a real light magic there. That was just a Frenzy on a Dungeon 40. And let me go ahead and show you my 36 drop love this dungeon guys this is really underutilized no one really ever talks about 36 I just love this dungeon it's so easy and now my goal again is to take out is to take out this spirit mage right here now people are asked a lot of people ask me why I use snowzilla over thunder god why, why would I do that well 
<laughs> my answer is kind of ridiculous. It's simply because my Thunder God's level 140 and my Snowzilla's level 123 and going to 140. I need experience on Snowzilla, and this dungeon experience isn't a lot, but it does add up, so... You know, I've just been rocking the Snowzilla, and I really like how Snowzilla keeps stays around the pack. He's got a short, he attacks the things right around him, and so if he starts procking with the group here, see here, here we got trouble. Okay, we locked out there, we got that Spirit Mage. But I really like when we, I like that Snowzilla, he just randomly just hits junk. He's randomly awesome, but his uh, area of effect is stays tight to the rest of the group and so if he bumps up against that spirit mage in the dungeon I am definitely definitely okay with him over Thunder God I mean I can swap out Thunder God a lot of people are wondering hey man you're crazy use use Thunder God it's like yeah Thunder God's awesome I'm not saying he's not I'm not saying I, I don't like him you know and I do like him and he's really awesome and especially with six heroes I only got 30 minutes left on my shield and I think I think you know what that means. I think that means I gotta go do some raids because I have not shown any raids yet with the six hero base. So let's go ahead and do that now. Don't have a lot of gold. I don't feel like farming it, but oh look at this! Oh, he's giving me a lot of. <laughs> oh, this will be a fun one. Look at all these guys here. I'm just gonna start with Guardian here. Just gonna drop in everything. And get, wow, this this guy is gonna stack up like crazy. So watch his base go bye bye. Might as well drop a flag, right? Dirty up. And you can see that base gets obliterated. Yeah, Minotauris. <laughs> For rating, I mean, you can't argue with that performance right there. So that's pretty awesome. Again, I pretty much go with the Dirty Trinity with Plus Frenzy. And let's do one more raid. We want some gold, guys. We want some gold. And other... Actually, I, I just want a good drop point. I'm always looking for a good drop point. And when people... Yeah, they put their camps here like this. I mean, it's just telling me to... It's just telling me to, boom, get that Pumpkin Duke right there. That's all it's saying to me. And then we go off, and once that Minotaur gets that proc off, my Minotaur has Wargob 5, so typically does a bunch of damage. Like, watch this. Well, not too many stacks going right there. That's not good. But we'll still get this one. It just wasn't uh, very dramatic. <laughs> the Thunder... Yeah, there's a little Minotaur proc there. Nothing too, nothing too great there. And we got the win. I don't think maybe had a 1 hero. No, just Thunder Gods trailing around. That's pretty good. We got a little bit of gold now. Let's go rebuy re our magics, and then I, I got an interesting little pattern too. When you only got four magics, and you don't want to buy any more, and you want to do five dungeons, <laughs> this is kind of a cool routine here. We're gonna go do dungeons. We're gonna gem 100, and so first off is we do dungeon 36 with no magic, okay? Or if you do have to use a magic, just use one restoration right at the top. But I've found I don't really need that restoration. And I kind of start Pumpkin Duke and I trail all my heroes up. I kind of dragged up as I was dropping there. Because I want Pumpkin Duke headed the way. I want him to get all the aggro from those legendaries from Ninja there. And I want to say it's Succubus, but I'm not sure. No. No, it's probably Paladin. And there's a nice Minotaur proc. And what we're wanting here, what we're really watching for here, boom, is that. Thunder God took care of my Spirit Mage right there. That's really the only threat, is that one Spirit Mage there. So this was a No Magic 36. Oh, I lost Thunder God. See? Thunder God, useless. No, he's good. But again, I'm going to swap in Snowzilla there, just why not? Then you come to do, then you come to do 37. Now, now here's what we're going to do, though. We're just going to use Guardian. Okay? We're going to drop all the heroes down a little bit lower than I normally do. And then Guardian at the last moment. And I might need a restoration there. That's only 6,000 gold, so that doesn't really count as using magic because it's so cheap. And again, this works pretty well. Light, I didn't use Frenzy yet. Notice, that's just Guardian Angel plus Restoration. The reason I used that Restoration, I saw Pumpkin Duke getting a little low on health. 
And it's kind of sp hard to spot in all the traffic down there, but hey, we did that dungeon in like 20 some seconds there, so that works pretty good. That's really light magic right there, really light magic. And since that magic is so light, I'm going to go ahead and buy those two back. And then I'm going to go and do 39. Right, we're going to use that same method that we dropped. This is going to use, this is going to be two magics. I could probably do it with just guardian though. So let's just try it with guardian. I do like to drop it first because this army camp is massive. Those dirty bugs there are ruthless. And pumpkin dude's going to stack you. Let's see if this. We don't want that spirit mage to get off. Okay, he didn't get off. He got really close though. Again, that's your big threat right there. And let's see how we do here with basically tiny magic, just a guardian, nothing else. Dungeon 39 going pretty well here. We'll take that. That's not bad. And then we're going to head up to Dungeon 40. This will be the last one in the cycle. And this is going to be a No Guardian, Just Frenzy. No Guardian, Just Frenzy. And how I do that is I come in again. I kind of start a little farther to the right. And then I'm going to drop Blue Stacks when he gets right there. I'm sorry, Frenzy when he gets right there. Blue Stacks. <gasps> And uh, I'm just going to drop everything because it's going to be my last one. Hey, thanks for watching. As always, keep it dirty and dirty up. Boom. No shards.